you're looking at Simon and Schuster, World Pay, billions of dollars worth of deals as the market has been pretty damaged at the beginning of the year. Why the comeback? Are investors not still concerned about how choppy things can be ahead? So overall, the market tone has improved significantly in recent months. First of all, if you look at the new issuance markets, that's improved a lot. We saw very little new junk bonds and leveraged loans at the start of the year. And now we've seen a string of successful deals priced in the summer. In addition, recession fears are down. I mean, there could still be one, but it's looking more and more like that soft landing the Fed has been hoping for. And the other thing that investors are often most concerned about is just how much our rates going to keep rising. Well, we're not exactly sure the answer. They do seem to have stabilized, which overall has created a better market tone for that deals. So that's the, the issuer and the investor perspective. What about the banks, though? Where does they, they come in here? Because didn't they just get burned? Yes, they just got burned very, very badly last year. Um, so a lot of banks, the biggest Wall Street firms, they were on the hook for billions of dollars of losses last year because they provided committed debt financing for leveraged buyouts before rates rose. So that meant they were on the hook even though rates change so much, they are basically on the other side of that. But now it's different. So the deals that we have coming up in September and October, these are ones that were committed after the Fed started raising rates. So the terms are much more favorable for the banks. So in theory, they should have built enough protections into the deals for themselves to be okay, even if things move a bit out of their favor. It's interesting because if you look at the league tables, LEAG go on the terminal, U.S. leverage loans are down by a, almost, I mean, more than 36 percent. It's significant. Are the banks and investors at this point just starved for new deals? They absolutely are. I think a lot of people are looking to put money to work. Um, investors definitely are. You know, issuance just started to recover things got better, and there's a lot of demand to buy this upcoming debt rush. Um, and for banks, like they make money by putting their balance sheet to work and making fees off those deals as they then sell that to institutional investors. And so they are very hungry to do more of those deals in the future. But now they're competing with private credit firms who are also offering very similar packages. And so every deal is kind of neck and neck between the two different parties.